Hey, what's going on? Um, so last week, I built a password reset flow uh, using Next.js and Career. Uh, and I just want to show you how it works. Um, so if you're running this app, either locally um, or on the, uh, the, live, the live demo version that's hosted, uh, the first thing you need to do is create a user. So this is basically a dummy user, um, but you will need to enter a real email address or a real phone number if you want to receive the notification and kind of test the entire flow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and enter an email address. I'm also going to enter uh, a phone number. This is fake. It's powered by Twilio. I'm going to delete this phone number when I'm done recording this video. Um, but it's going to be useful. Uh, right now, it forwards to my actual phone, so I can show you that this is working. Um, this last thing down here, uh, this is the notification preference for the user. So I'm going to express a preference that I want to receive notifications on SMS. So I'm going to set that to SMS and click Create User. All right, so we've created the user. Um, one thing that has happened on the back end is that my app has created a profile in Courier for this user. So if I click Reload here, this is the Courier dashboard, we can see that there is now a FUBAR user uh, that's been created. So going back to my app, now we can test the forgot password flow. So I'm going to click Forgot Password. And here, I just need to either specify an email address or a phone number. Um, and you can specify either or. So in this case, I'm going to specify my email address. Um, and uh, even though uh, my preference was to receive the notification on SMS. Um, and this, this, is, this, this kind of proves to you that Courier is paying attention to the user preference and sending um, via the right channel. So I'm going to go ahead and reset the password. Now, what's happening on the back end was that a unique token was generated, uh, and then that token was included in the notification. And I should be getting a notification soon, and indeed, there it is. Uh, I want to show you quickly where that token is stored. So the app had to store the token somewhere in order to compare it to what I'm about to type in here on the web app. And for that, I used uh, Vercel KV. So this is just a hosted Redis um, storage service. And I can go ahead and look at the keys that I've stored. And I can go ahead and get uh, the value of this key. And the value is 906573. And if I look at my text message, that's exactly what I see on my text message. I see 906573. So continuing with the flow, um, if I enter the wrong token, it tells me that uh, they, they didn't match. Um, so I need to enter the correct value, which once again was 906573. Now that I have validated my token, I'm effectively authenticated and I can create a new password. So how about one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, if they don't match, uh, you'll see an error message, and, uh, but they matched. So we have now uh, completed the password reset flow. Um, a couple features uh, that are about this about this app that are worth noting. Um, the uh, when you use Redis, you can actually specify uh, when keys expire. So in this app, these keys that you see are going to expire after five minutes. Um, you might remember that we created a user. Um, I want that user for the purposes of my demo app to be deleted after five minutes. And I'm using a service called Ingest. So Ingest makes it really easy to create background tasks, queues, workers, uh, cron jobs. And in my app, at the moment that we created the courier profile, we also created a job with Ingest that says to sleep for five minutes and then use the courier REST API to delete the user. Um, so this app basically completely cleans itself up five minutes after you've played with it. So, uh, so feel free to check it out. Uh, source code is on GitHub. There's a blog post on courier.com slash blog. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.